Hello everyone and welcome to Pocket Try here on the Motion Dan channel. Today we're going to be playing Steven Universe Attack the Light. Um, this is a game that I'm very excited about and you'll see why. I'm going to play non-stop until I beat this game. Never mind, gems are back. Hello, Steven. What is that? This is an ancient gem weapon. In the hands of a powerful gem, it could be used to command an entire army of light. Cool. Can I see? Oh, no. Absolutely not. It's very dangerous. Well, in the hands of a powerful gem, anyway. But in the hands of Steven, uh, not so much. Yeah, me no powerful. All right, but be careful. <laughs> are loose in the world we must work together to track them down and return them to the prism four heroes teaming up for a magic adventure this is like the greatest rpg ever so if you are a fan of steven universe um i recently became one um i highly recommend it especially if you like rpgs and um it's gonna be a ton of fun so this is attack the light uh one of the reasons why i really enjoyed this um game i actually played quite a bit of it actually um and one of the reasons why i really enjoyed it is because cartoon network usually whenever they make mobile games they not only sometimes make them um you know make you initially purchase it but they also include um in-app purchases which i think is kind of bullcrap um because it, you, you should either have mobile gaming, you should either go two ways. You should either have it free to play and you have in-app purchases, or you have the initial um, one-time fee to download the game and play it, um, but and then don't have uh, in-app purchases. Just because, um, I don't know, I feel like it's a little greedy, to be honest, especially with Cartoon Network, you know, when they're targeted towards, you know, a younger... Uh, crowd, you know, kids are susceptible to that. And sure, you know, you can set up iTunes preferences now, I think, where you can set up uh, so they so the kids can't do in-app purchases, but still, like, it's, I don't know, it's it's a little greedy to me, but but this is not the case. This is actually only two ninety nine dollars on the App Store, um, and it's actually, uh, you know, I'm gonna reset the data just to start from the beginning. Um, you know, this is certainly not the case. So, um, you know, it's two ninety nine, and it's a one thing. You know, they won't bother you to be like, hey, you gotta purchase more gems or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's start from the beginning, and here we go. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so um, here's just a little tutorial. Swipe from room to room, and you can just keep going, and then swipe uh, down. Usually, uh, they'll show this later, but they have secret areas where you can uh, find uh -oh. uh, scorpions. Those aren't ordinary scorpions. The light from this prison has taken their form. Steven, we must exterminate these creatures. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so... So this is like a traditional RPG. Um, as you can see from the top, uh, you'll see Steven's little face with the star times five. That means that we have five points to use, um, you know, basically among the four gems uh, before our turn is over. Um, so uh, in order to... Usually, unless uh, we actually get ambushed, we actually get to go first every time. So I'm going to tap Garnet, and as you can see, um, uh, if you hit the tap times two, that means that it will cost two points to use this move. So I'm going to attack one of them. Um, 
I don't know if you missed it, but uh, there's a little... Whenever she was about to strike, there was a gold little star that flashed for like a second. Uh, and if you tap the screen while that star is on there, you get double the attack, which is pretty cool. Whoa, that was so cool! Thanks, Steven. Hey, Steven, check this out. Tap Amethyst. Alright, now she has a whip, because, you know, she has a whip on the show. And so this is going to cost three points, so we tap it. And then I did it again when the star appeared, so... Double, double attack. Nice, Amethyst. Oh yeah, those prism guys don't stand a chance. Okay, so... Um... Yeah, so as I stated before, using the abilities uh, takes star points. And when you're out of star points, you have to end your turn. So this means we're gonna go in defense mode. Yeah! And so, because there's only one creature, they only get one chance to attack us so hey guys let me help so these are this is one of Steven's moves and eventually you know as we level up we're gonna um, you know of course get new moves and abilities and things so uh, we're gonna tap on this so because uh, Pearl was just attacked we're gonna now encourage her even though she only lost one uh, HP um, as you can see you know it has up at the top there's 25 out of 25 and then 29 out of 30, and then 20 out of 20. Um, that's their health, and then their XP uh, bars will go up eventually filled in with white. So let's give her quote-unquote encouragement, which is just like health. I believe in you. Which is so cute, because, you know, Steven can't really do much these days, so uh, that's about all he can do right now. Pearl, you can do it. Uh, thanks for your encouragement. Which, uh, every time you do that, it adds plus 10 health, but she only lost one, so I didn't even need to do that at all, but... I mean, they're showing the game mechanics, but yeah. So now we're going to, uh, do that again. Um, we have three, because it costs two, we now only have three points left for this round. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another whip, because that's, uh, pretty powerful. But what's great about her whip is that uh, it actually affects every character. And so, um, you know, you don't have to target specific, you know, it'll go to everyone, which is really awesome. Um, so we're gonna end turn. Oh, dang it. See, that time I actually lost uh, quite a bit of health. Instead of just one, I lost four because I didn't tap when, uh, you know, um, she, when the, when the star came up. So I'm gonna do this one attack uh, with Pearl. Oh, and it's dead! Yay! We did it! All right, awesome. That was easy peasy. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's keep going. And look, guys, guys, is that is that? Geez, Steven, you act like you've never seen a treasure chest before. I can't believe it. It's so beautiful. Steven, tell me what you want to do. Mm. Let's open this bad boy. Or do you think it's safe? And I don't know... So I don't know why it gave uh, Garnet a um, experience. I mean, it should have given me experience for knowing what to do, but whatever. Starfruit. Uh, hooray for treasure! <laughs> um, now if you actually... Backpack. Yeah, that, that's one of the things... I mean, there, there's so many, uh, you know, references to the show in this game that I really appreciate. And one is Hamburger Backpack, which is one of my favorites. Um, so a starfruit can actually add three star points, or three, uh, I guess you would call it, um, hit points, or... No... I guess, you know, the, the initial five, it adds three to the initial five that we have before every round. So in case, you know, we're in a big hunk of trouble and we need to do beat them before the end of the round, uh, that's when you would use it. Or just whenever you want, really. So uh, let's head up. 
And that's the end of stage one. Yay! Okay. We did it. Oh man. I mean, I, I've recently become a fan of the show and I've really enjoyed it. Um, you know, I've actually all caught up Ooh, within the past month, fun. which is crazy. Uh, I mean, technically, well, I mean, there's technically 48 episodes in the first season, but that's 10 minutes, I think, an episode. So really, it's like 20, the normal 24. Um, but yeah, uh, and I'm all caught up in the second season. I've been really enjoying it. And yeah. Hmm. Oh my, a refracted light barrier. The prism creatures are beginning to corrupt these caves. It looks like a locked door. That means Let's see. we should beat it up or there must be a secret key. That's right. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know why it gives Pearl the experience. I'm the one who had the brains to come up with that idea. Which wasn't that... I mean, it didn't take that much brain power, but still. Alright, so we can't go down. We can't well, go right. That's not gonna work. Yeah, so well, you can either tap it or... Uh, swipe right, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so three of these guys... Um, I feel like the thing that makes sense... More scorpion guys. I've got just the thing. Oh, it won't let me do what I want. I've got just the thing. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna use one of these now. So now we have eight, which is great. Um, so now we're gonna use, um... Amethyst? I, I get them all confused. I know... Yeah, it is Amethyst. I, I always get... Uh, amethyst and um, I, I just get them confused. I can't even remember their names now, just because the pressure is too high on this LP. Okay, so let's. Wow, that did a pretty good amount of damage. We still have uh, space for one more. Usually we wouldn't because we initially have five, and that would cost another three. So we would only normally have two left. So let's. Boom. All right, number two is gone. And we get a cookie cat. Another reference to the show, which is actually, I'll show you. Oh, right, this is another thing. You can only use uh, one item per turn. So I can't even look into my backpack to figure out <laughs> what the cookie cat does. So, um, uh, well, you can also, Pearl hasn't done anything this round, so let's um, have her attack one of the scorpions. Yay, another cookie cat, which we can't look at. <laughs> and this is another point. Uh, we can actually get those as well, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, finish it up with Garnet. See, I can remember Garnet's name. I can't, oh man. All right. Awesome. Open Steven. This calls for. So, turns out Cookie Cat restores uh, some harmony or health. So, you would essentially use this if you didn't have enough points for Steven's uh, encouragement. Um, you could use this to bump up 10 health. Um, but that also costs one of your. Uh... Well, I don't. I don't need to give them an. Ah, oh, gosh. Why is it making me do this? Item, I choose nice you. Work. They were all at full health. We didn't even. <laughs> uh, we didn't even get attacked. But whatever. Um. So yeah. Let's go left here, and it's a treasure chest. Neato burrito. Um. One of the reasons why I just love this game is because of just the little animations and things. It's really cute. Um, and just this whole game is just really pleasing to look at, you know, with the settings and the colors and the characters. It's great. And plus, it's in the Steven Universe universe. So, alright, so, um, these are winged bats. Well, w they're bats. 
Uh, so what we're gonna do, um, they can actually, um, in the next turn, sometimes they'll go up in the air, and then the only way that you can attack them is with, um, uh, Garnet, no, Pearl, Amethyst. I can never remember Amethyst's name. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. Um, so you'll have to use Amethyst's whip in order to attack them up in the air, but uh, we're just going to use it now anyway, since uh, there's more than one uh, bad guy. So now that there's two, we're going to use um, Garnet and punch that bat in the face! No, technically we could have just... Oh, whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's end the turn. Oh, I hit it too late. Six, six attack. Um, yeah, so... We can just have her just punch it in the face again. Oh, it's almost dead. Let's use Pearl. I didn't even need that second attack. Yeah! Alright, and Garnet level it up, which is fun. Uh, shield... Unlock Shield Breaker. This is another move. Uh, reduces enemies' defense, destroying shields. Alright, yay! So let's, uh, let's keep going. Can we go down or up? No. Oh, hey, look. Check out that goofy looking rock. It looks just like Pearl. <laughs> uh... It does resemble Pearl's profile, or hmm, how strangely mysterious. That's right. That's right. Yay. This cave's natural formations are quite unusual. Hey, wait, I think something's behind it. So anything that sparkles, just like in any good RPG, contains an item. Uh. Oh yeah, super secret key. Thanks, pearl-shaped rock. <laughs> uh, right, Steven, let's make our way back to that locked barrier. So now we head back. Uh, so let's unlock this door with this weird gem-shaped key. Oh, great. All right, uh, let's see here. Now, um, now her shield break attack is, um, cost three, so we're not going to do that. We're actually going to use, uh, her whip and boom. Um, let's see. We can use Garnet's attack one of the scorpions. Boom. All right, and then turn. Oh. Oh crap. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, Steven's encouragement. You got this. Yeah, you got it, girl. All right, now let's um let's use Garnet's fist of kill death. All right, and we get two points. So let's just punch that base, that bat in the face. Also, Whoop. go Garnet. And Pearl just uh, leveled up. I did earn this. Oh, you're always being so humble, aren't you, Pearl? Let's uh, bump up her attack. This seems like the right choice. Let's open that chest. Um, so luck, I, from what I understand awesome! and what I played, luck actually affects your, um, uh, you know, like how soon or how later you can tap. Um, you know, where the stars appear, and it will count it, even though it might be gone for like a split second after when you tapped it. So, um, you know, it can be lucky in that way. So, so you got two out of the two initial chests, and one out of the one mysterious things, which was the gem behind the rock. So let's, that's Skills. it. So, um... That's actually going to be it for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please give it a like. And um, comment below. Uh, let me know if you like Steven Universe. I've really enjoyed the show. And um, I've really had tons of fun playing this game. 
Uh, but now I kind of have to replay through it because I reset the save. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've really enjoyed the show. I mean, it's uh, Rebecca Sugar, also the creator of um, Bee and Puppy Cat on um, Cartoon Hangover or Channel Frederator. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and really punching the hole in the third... Or wait, what's the expression? Bursting through the fourth wall? Or... I forget what it is. This really is like an RPG. Derp. What are these RPGs you keep mentioning? Oh man, role-playing games. You go on these, like, cool quests, and you explore caves and fight baddies and get treasure, and level up and... Hey, that does sound like what we do. Uh, breaking... Oh, breaking through the fourth wall. That's what it's called. Anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time for more Pocket Try here on the Motion Dan channel. Bye!